Welcome back. Law enforcement officers are still not cleared to get the COVID-19 vaccine along with first responders. But now the San Marcos mayor, Rebecca Jones, is saying she's making that her priority. We're talking to Mayor Jones about that as well as the super station and the new station uh, vaccine station that just opened up uh, in San Marcos, the second one. Good morning, Mayor. How are you? Good morning. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm hanging in there. You look so cozy by the yes. fire. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to yeah. talk about uh, the vaccine sites in San Marcos. I do know there was a little bit of a confusion, but first, this issue of vaccinating uh, law enforcement officers, you wrote a letter uh, at the end of last month uh, really advocating that those law enforcement officers who are the first to respond to emergencies be prioritized to get vaccinated along with our other first responders, but uh, County Board of Supervisors doesn't agree. Well, yeah, and that's a real shame because actually law enforcement sent a letter also. So um, last month on the 25th, uh, the San Diego County Chiefs and Ser Sheriff's Association uh, at the request of their president, uh, which is Chula Vista Chief Roxana Kennedy, wrote a letter and said, hey, you know, we have so many things that we're doing every day in the communities that we serve, and we really would like to be vaccinated and have that opportunity, along with other first responders and our seniors, not ahead of our seniors. I know there was some discussion about that. That's complete fabrication. What they want is to be treated fairly. So there are about 4,300 um, officers uh, that respond every day to our emergencies. 5,000 in the communities um, and about 10,000 calls last year in 2020. So that's a lot of uh, people that uh, they are reaching and touching out to uh, that they could either um, uh, spread the disease or that if, if for some reason we have an outbreak in our law enforcement agencies, they would uh, maybe have their response times uh, affected and we surely don't want that. I mean, I talk a lot about how safe it is in San Marcos. We sure appreciate our uh, sheriff deputies here in the city, uh, but we need to make sure that they're staying safe and we wanna make sure that they are treated the same as our uh, fire department, uh, which are also first responders because a lot of times they are uh, uh, administering CPR or Narcan in situations where uh, there are drug overdoses and sadly, that is becoming more prevalent uh, as we are in a pandemic and a lot of people are really struggling mentally. And so we really need to do all that we can to keep our community safe. And part of that has to do with vaccinating our law enforcement. And, you know, one thing that you may not know is more than half of the counties in the state of California have already prioritized getting our uh, law enforcement vaccinated. So why can't San Diego, you know, we're very close to the border. We really need to make sure that we're doing all that we can to keep them healthy and safe. Yeah, it definitely uh, raises a lot of questions, but uh, yeah. the board the board voted three to two on that issue. I want to touch on before mm -hmm. we run out of time, the, the super station at Cal State San Marcos, how that's been going, but also to see another uh, vaccination station for seniors open up at the Gary and Mary West uh, um, facility there on Descanso because uh, there was a little confusion yesterday when our Elizabeth Alvarez was out there. Some people thought that they could get tested at that facility or that if they oh. were younger than the, the 65 uh, that they might be able to get vaccinated if they lived in the area. But that's just for seniors, right? It is at the uh, Gary and West uh, pace. Yes, that is just for seniors. However, Anyone can get tested at any point in time if they go to CSU San Marcos and follow the signs. There are two locations there, one for vaccinations and one for testing. The testing is a walk-up clinic. The vaccination is by appointment only. And I do believe that uh, today there is going to be more vaccinations uh, that are going to be delivered. You know, one thing I would like to say real quick, too, is that our state, if you go to the Becker's Hospital uh, Review, uh, every day it updates where we are at, at how many uh, vaccinations we've had administered. And we're still 38 out of 50, which is a real shame. So about 72 percent of our vaccinations that we've received from the federal government have uh, been administered. So we really need to push that and continue to do that with vaccination centers like the Superstation and then also the Gary and Mary West. Well, and I'm hoping that at some point they'll be able to even reach out further to the community, to folks that are um, 
it to our seniors specifically at the uh, Gary and Mary West uh, by doing mobile. And so I know that they're talking about that, trying to work out the details. Well, Mayor, let me ask you about that, because uh, you're, you're saying that we're we're only using at 72 percent, yet we see some of these sites shutting down and we're told it's because of supply. Is it just that some areas like Petco Park maybe are being overwhelmed with appointments and other areas like the Cal State San Marcos site are not getting as many appointments? I mean, we should be at 100 percent of, of utilizing our vaccination our, our vaccines well, available, right? Well, well, that's statewide. And so, yes, I, I think there needs to be better coordination with our state. And I really, you know, I, I don't want to Monday morning quarterback it. I, I think that when you know things are going to happen, it's great to have your uh, support in place and to have your plans in place. I mean, that's what we do at the city. It's a much smaller scale. Okay. However, we have less people also. So I, I think that, um, you know, we really need to figure out how to get more vaccinations uh, in San Diego County if we are indeed um, low and out. Uh, but 72 percent statewide is not uh, a great number yeah. and 38 out of all of the states in the country. So we, we must do better. Yeah, feed, feed it to the areas uh, like Los Angeles and San Diego that are having to, to shut down their sites for a time. All right. Well, uh, a good update. And uh, I can say as a, a San Marconian who lives right by Cal State San Marcos, it's been a very smooth process. Uh, see it going very smoothly. No big issues there with traffic or yes. crazy lines anywhere. So that's good to see as well. Yes, they're doing a great job. They really are. And you know what? That's our that's our healthcare professionals all over the county. And then also, uh, I know that there are students from CSU that are involved with it. Yeah. Um, but it, they've done a great job. They really have. We're really proud of them. Absolutely. Mayor Jones, thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you. Wonderful. Have a great day. Well, a new 